Okay. All right. Okay. Good morning, there, everyone. There. Okay. Again. All right. So, uh, welcome to our week three kind of practical and tutorial classes there. So, when I actually have been go through, okay, with with the work that we you guys have been done on week two there, right? So, I I would say that it's quite impressive because you guys really can manage to work with those AI, but few of you guys that we actually can see from here that can actually work with this kind of uh, what we look at exercise that actually been that actually related to our uh, lead to our first assignments, right? Okay, the vomitous kind of characters there. All right. So, uh, what do you feel about it? Okay, can you guys share a little bit, kind of respond? Okay, on using AI because I I actually have have also get some sort of personal message from a few of the students there. Okay, regarding to use the knife tool. Okay, uh, for last last week kind of. Uh, demonstration that we did okay so uh, what we call that uh, luckily that she actually managed to work on that even though right I did not actually open up my PCs at the time okay I just told him I told her basically I could just select the the, the, the object at first and then you click to the knife tools which is they were going to be active activate there right okay in order for you to operate them and then uh, later on, right? Okay, when you actually have actually have uh, operate those knife tools there, then you can actually write fill in the color by selecting back again the object directly okay, by using those uh, direct selection tools there, right? So how do you feel directly? Okay? Because I've seen that only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen people, right? Okay, members, okay, in our morning session have done this exercise there, right? So how about the rest of you guys there, right? So like Tara also actually have ex experiment with the character design came with those landscapes a bit directly. Yeah. Sirat also have done directly. This is Naufal and Naufal also have done a team. A little bit kind of what we call that uh, detail key okay, for the full kind of shapes there. I never thought this kind of things there to be create there okay, because uh, it's quite good there okay. It's quite impressive that you guys can actually have this kind of level of understanding and detail there for those characters. All right. Who else there right now? I think for our sessions, we have around 29 people or 28, 27, maybe directly. People involved here. Eh? How about the rest of you guys? Or you actually have submit in week one? Only 14 also will be active here. Or you, have, you actually submit two times, is it? Um, for submission, ideally, they should submit their Vometer Challenge characters and also the trading card on uh, Microsoft Teams. Okay. But if their names are not listed there, they should upload it into Times. So this is in a way for us to keep track of your submission because there's a large, large number of students. There's like yes, over yes. 70 plus of guys. So yeah. um, we we know that you guys have submitted in Google Classroom, but it's gonna be difficult for us to track which is which, especially some of you guys have very fancy name in it on mm. Google Classroom. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing, guys, okay, I would I would actually right, emphasize, please don't delay your exercise, there, okay? Because we have to see your progressions, okay, for each week, there, okay? Otherwise, if you delay some of these exercise it will be burden on you guys later on because they're going to be the number of of works that you are going to be managed okay, to develop from there right what i actually always suggest for the students even though you made it wrong not complete or not quite what do you say perfect as what you want to be it's a process of learning there right okay? you you won't be able to achieve a perfection there right okay? No one actually going to get uh, achieve those kind of perfections directly. If you really, really want to develop 
your skills, your design skill and senses, rightly, during the this kind of time to develop your uh, to 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 create this kind of learning experience there. Right? Okay, so please okay work on that. Okay, because I don't want you guys to burden that we get to later on. Because if we actually give we are going to start to do more and more and more kind of exercises, even though this week, okay, this week, right? I want to give you guys, okay, because of 14 people from, I think 20 there, okay? Or uh, 20, 27 there, okay? So I'm hopefully, right, the rest of you guys can actually, right, show more on the progress there. So may I know, okay, what are basically your obstacles, your challenge there, other than... Sometimes our laziness there, okay, to, to create those kind of works, right, according to the times. Okay, the technical kind of what we call that issues that you guys have at the moment, what is it? Because I think for the last two weeks times, even though we not actually do uh, focus a lot on every kind of tool there, right, okay, okay, to execute our works there, but the tools that I actually have given you guys is basically is 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 a is a important tool that you guys need to know to learn to develop okay along the way in order to use those AI there right I remember in my days I'm only learn to use pen tool only there okay and we have to trace for the entire semester, right? Okay, all these, uh, I think around 15 kind of logos, all right? From, uh, from existing kind of reference there, right? Okay, that's the only assignments that I remember, right? Okay, okay, for AI, okay? So there is no creative kind of work from there, right? Okay, for the technical kind of uh, applications kind of lessons, which is we actually have learned before, right? Okay. Tracing using pen tools, no pathfinders there at, a, at that time. There, okay. I didn't use any kind of what we call that fancy kind of tools over there, even though pencil tool also we cannot use there, right? You only use mouse and pen tools there and add some colors on that, right? Okay, and use some gradients there, okay, and use some type tools there also to create some sort of uh, what we call that uh, titles, my mouse head, okay, for the icon itself, there, okay. But when I actually look at 14 of you guys have been working on with this, this kind of exercise there, right? Okay? I will see this is quite advanced. You can do a lot more from here there, okay? But learn to organize back again the layers. At the same time, try to get a very clean, like this one is quite clean kind of line groups, right? That now for actually have been working on there, okay? For the exercise there, right? It's a very good start there, okay? But today, because last week, I actually show you guys some of the sample of reference from photographic therapy reference that we can use as an influence for us to develop the landscapes that actually can relate it to those technical kind of uh, process that we actually going to use like a pen, like a knife tool, for example, directly to add some to divide the selections areas, okay, to add some shadows there, right? So today, okay, because you guys have been working on, because I actually go through also your lesson just now, all right, your lesson class on the compositions, all right? Basically, we actually have done this kind of what we call that exercise, the, the simple exercise there, right, okay? So what basically I can actually show you guys today, okay, to develop the composition as what Miss Ani says, okay, and also uh, Miss uh, Yvonne, right, Viviana, or Yvonne say that, okay, for the for these lettering notes there, it's basically right, there, okay. I am actually agree with it, okay. We have to watch when you watch animations, cartoons, okay, movies, there, okay. You have to try to learn to analyze and also studies all this kind of language of cinematography kind of compositions there. Right, close up, okay. Uh, what we call that close up looks on scene there, okay. Extreme close up there, okay. Above the shoulders there, over the shoulders there, right, okay. Uh, medium shot, okay. All these kind of shots, okay. Uh, what we call the established kind of shots there. I might 
some of you guys who are taking cinematography kind of lessons or module or film studies, okay, you might going to learn a bit more detail from there. And what maybe I already told you guys before, all the design kind of what we call that studies or module that you guys have been taking were basically related with one with, with one another directly, okay? even though these illustrations there. They can be applied also these kind of conversations in your designs. In web design, right, even though we don't actually draw all this kind of uh, cinematographic kind of stuff there, but the compositions and the layout is almost the same there, right, okay? The depth of fields, all the elements and principles of design that we apply on the works will be make our presentations look more appealing there, okay? Nice to see lah, for the layman kind of words there, okay? Nice to see, quite beautiful, right, okay? I, I like it, all these kind of things there, all these kind of layman kind of words that express the, the feelings of uh, looking at those designs, they can accept it, that kind of design, right? You, we actually been applied all this kind of element principle together there, okay? To, to create this kind of look and feel of our illustrations there, all right? So uh, if you guys have been working on with the color generators for create your illustrations, good, right, okay? That's a good start for you guys to develop that kind of uh, understanding there, right? Okay, but if you take a look at how actually I apply them, normally I'm I'm using a very spontaneous kind of what we call that uh, uh, understanding based on my kind of experience of tracing the colors. But I still applying warm and cool color together to show the depth of feel for my works there, right? Okay, so let me go through with it. Our next week, you're going to submit the the what we call that the monster character and the trading card, right? Why actually, right? No one actually responded, there. Right? Are you guys sleeping or what? Let me check your uh, where is it? If there is some response there, okay. Meeting, I don't know. All right, Kimberly there, okay. Kimberly there, okay. Are we okay? All right. So, may I ask you guys, okay, from all these 27 or 26 kind of students, all right. Who actually doesn't have tablets there? Drawing tablet there, right? Who actually still use mouse? Right. This week. What do you mean by this week there? Basically, okay, if I'm going to work in our classroom, right, I won't be able to use this tablet because I haven't installed them yet. I don't have, I actually doesn't, still cannot actually get uh, the right kind of time there to go there, right, to spend more time, so okay, to talk to those technical person about to install the drivers for my tablet there, right, okay? But if you guys have, have actually your own tablet, right, on your own, especially FIT students, okay, I really recommend you guys to get those tablets there. There is no such thing, no so such way, basically, you will survive with FIT kind of module, okay, in the futures, right, if you don't have those tablets there, right, with the tablet panel, right, okay, not the iPad Pro, right, okay, if you guys can get iPad Pro, it's okay, right, but for me, the, the, the external kind of tablets there, right, the external tablets that we can use, like, we own, okay, we attach to our laptops and we do the works there. Okay? If you don't have that, I'll really strongly recommend you guys to get one there. Okay? For business student who actually doesn't doesn't have the attentions to go further there. Okay, but if you think that you want that, some of the some of the student from other courses they they actually have more interest on the design stuff there. Okay, just buy them. It's worth it there. It's really worth it for you to invest, okay? I think who you on right now is below 100 also you can get. I think you can get on hundreds kind of 
uh, what we call that value of buying this kind of tools, okay? Uh, when uh, what we call that plus with the delivery kind of what we call that fees there, okay? The sort of things there. So I think below 100, you can get, okay? Those tablets there, okay, nowadays. So it's quite, quite reasonable price there, okay? Who we own there, right? Let me see that okay, first before I start to sketch, right? Who we own? Uh, cafe, no cafe, right? Uh, tablet there. Right? Make sure. How much is it? Wow, 130. 99 there, right? Ringgit there. Wow, it's quite cheap there, 99 ringgit there. I saw at Shopee there, actually, it's quite. Keep there, right? 82 ringgit. Okay, 99, 82, 105, depending on the seller's light. Like, right, okay. Again, okay, no 72 there, here. Okay. Be small, quite reliable, but I don't drop the pen or, or the tablet stuff. Okay, while you're doing that. So, most of the actual thing device, okay, we cannot drop that out, right? It's quite fragile there, but it's not that expensive there. Back in the days, I remember, okay, I want to get those uh, Intuos Webcom, okay, in 2001, right? At that time, it's hard to get those tablets in Malaysia there, so I have to order from Singapore, okay? And the price at that time is around 1002 there, okay? 1002, okay, for the tablet stuff there, right? Okay, I have to wait, I think, around one month to get that tablet there. This is quite cheap here, directly. It's just like that. I want to become a an agent like Mr. Kanan, directly. You can call Mr. Kanan, directly to to get the right kind of price there for those Hui on kind of tablets there. Okay, so that's it, direct. So uh, me, what is it, me, 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 me. Only have mouse to use is okay, right? If you have mouse to use, you sketch first in your sketch books, all right? I know that some people, I can see some of the students there, okay? They even can draw using the touchpad there, okay? I really, really, really not surprised, but I, I really doesn't know how I can imagine myself doing that kind of stuff there, right? You can't do. Right, but it's quite impressive there, okay, if you can design using those touch pad there, okay, on your laptop that you works. All right, why actually we actually going to draw and sketch first? Okay, because this is illustration classes there, right? One of the reason is because okay, we have the, the vomitor kind of character. You know basically the characters there, right? So if you actually want to plan it nicely, even though you can, okay. To ask now file there, can now file here there, right? Because I think right above all this one is quite detailed for that, right? Okay, I, I can't believe that okay he 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 can manage to use that kind of Right, details okay, to design those characters there. Right? How long does it take there? How long does it take for you to design that characters there? Right? These characters, even though some of the characters uh, line is quite not that uh, bad, bad or what we call that complex, but this kind of fur line look for me, right? It's quite brilliant, right? You should have heard it. How long does it take that now for you design that? One day. Now for this year. No. Right. I think. Uh, I recommend XP pens. Oh, they're great. No need battery. Yeah, same go to who you own. Okay, no battery. Okay. 
or charging for the stylus pen and they're fairly cheaper. The XP pen is almost the same like we own also and, and also the what we call that uh interest model and also like uh bamboo there right same right same goes to you and or same goes to her own right but if you think that xp pen is more reliable more comfort for you guys go ahead directly because sometimes okay when i actually used the bamboo versions directly on those uh pen racking they're quite a bit kind of hard on the surface there right the surface is quite hard directly they look a bit more cheap like, okay when you move okay but as long you can get the right kind of pressure strokes okay when you sketch it out your ideas it will be fine there right okay it will be fine there okay those other things so if you take a look Right, at the compositions that you actually have been working on before, right? A lot of people normally, right, they, they always want to have a very, very complex kind of compositions. And at the same time, their, their learning experience and knowledge that actually going to be applied from there is not that, that up to the level that need, they need for this, right? Those are the things. Right. So in this kind of subjects, okay, IVN, okay, it's illustrations there. Illustrations that involve closely, strongly with the drawings there. One of the reasons why we actually sketch it out our ideas in uh, before we are going to work with any kind of characters there, right? Because we want to make sure that we can actually develop the right kind of understanding for our design. You can sketch it out there, right? Okay. So whenever characters that you're going to go through, a lot of people when we draw, right? Okay. okay. Uh, have you guys used Photoshop before? Before that, have you guys experienced using Photoshop before to draw? Because for my illustration classes for other, what we call that, other, what we call that, uh, in this case, directly, when we actually learn Photoshop, especially digital illustration subjects, right, uh, I'm going to emphasize a lot on Photoshop there, right, but because of, because they actually came from multimedia courses, right, 100% from multimedia courses, right, okay? But uh, for us, basically, we have mixed up okay, with other kind of faculties there. So, yes, I believe we have to be a little bit kind of moderate, not to focus more on the pure kind of illustrations works there, right, okay? purely there. Right, okay? But even though the lesson that you have been given, especially on the lecturing class, was more towards into that, you actually have been given that kind of uh, experience by theoreticals there, right, okay, to learn about illustrations there, to get to know about illustrations there, what illustration can do there, okay, and you have to remember one simple thing there, illustration is a part that we apply to communicate your audience in order to develop the, the, the right kind of message, either in your advertisements, in your press ad, in the, what we call that, uh, design there, right, okay, kind of modules there, okay, whatever that you want to talk about how to present how to promote your brand your product your uh, what we call that a service sister okay they're going to be used a lot of illustrations there you're going nowadays people all do use a lot of illustrations that there. there's a corporate illustrations there there's the infographic illustrations there okay that can be used there okay if you guys familiar and have uh graphics template or illustrations there, okay? If you take a look at this one there, right? All these kind of graphic templates were using illustrators there. Most of that were using illustrators there. Right, we took out about, okay, infographics, illustrations. Yeah. 
Okay. They were using AI. All of them using AI that works. Okay. But all this kind of illustrations or design, all right, were not going to be look more presentable without the good understanding by using all the principle itself there and the element combined with those element elements okay we have around seven elements if i'm not mistaken there line shape texture skull and form value and space there okay? and of course the principle that help to develop the more, more kind of appealing kind of look and feels there right when you look at this kind of colors you feel like if they this this is the food layer, okay you you feel that you have the appetite the good kind of appetite or good kind of taste there to eat to taste this kind of food there. you start feeling hungry there okay so those kind of emotions basically i can actually emphasize i can actually express okay when i when i saw this kind of visuals there right okay when you design some things right okay when you actually start to develop your kind of design even though you didn't have to use a lot of full colors there okay they use a quite very strong kind of uh, warm and cool color based on this kind of colors uh, generate this kind of techniques there right okay if you check look there right the visual itself using uh, dark blue or and also red colors and white at the same time right there's a three combination colors there or four combination colors there right okay but it really looks not tasteless there right remember that so when we want to design something when you want to design something for yourself make sure they will look more tasteful there right don't like tasteless there right so tasteless cement you also doesn't have mood right you also what we call that feel a bit kind of not confidence shy to show your works even though a very simple design like this we can start also using illustrators that you works it can be Whatever that you guys been working on for the last two weeks, everything is possible here by using the, the tools that we have. Using the shape tools, pen tools, bind together directly, and pieces of colors there at the same time. And group each part that you can, okay, before you're going to arrange them back. It's a very simple kind of learning kind of process, but they look complex because of the arrangements, the positions, and the planning there, right? And the planning itself there. Nowadays, if you look at your kind of uh, versions of AI there, right, that we actually, that I actually have been emphasized on the 3D kind of text there, right? Remember that? Yeah, you can achieve this kind of illustration at the same time. My kind of day before that, I have to construct the whole thing Okay, from scratch. But of course, if you with some of the Pinterest directly, oh, not Pinterest directly, sorry, Behance. I saw a lot of good kind of, not mine, but the one that I saw, right? From one of the illustrators, okay, they show also the process of doing their works there, right? So, for today, okay, let me check. Okay, talk a lot there, okay. So, if you guys not respond, okay, that mean everyone know how to use Photoshop, right? Is it it? Have you, have you done any kind of image superimpose image manipulations? In AI before, in Photoshop before, have you guys done all this kind of stuff before? Have you guys using Photoshop before, the right? To do some sort of stuff like sketches, develop ideas, or uh, image manipulations, superimpose. Have you guys done this kind of thing yet? No? Oh, yeah. Um, sir? 
Yeah. Um, there's a lot of comments in the comment section, but it's not showing in your screen. I don't know why. Yeah. Hmm. It's not showing here, then, right? Oh yeah. no! But yes, there's no. like a lot of comments. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. They update there, guys. They they already update there, okay? They already update there, okay? Around one day, sir. Around one day. One day. What do you mean one day? Oh, one day for the the wolves, okay? It's quite long, right? No, sir. Nope. Yes, yes. Not yet. Yes, yes. <laughs> no. Yes, no. All right. Thank you very much, there, okay? All right. So I'm going to start a bit kind of introduction, okay? So we we give a little bit kind of room for uh uncle photoshop to works okay to to show his stuff there right okay? okay if you guys use the new versions which i not using right here right okay, i'm using in our lab now okay first of all let me open up that thing okay, photoshop basically is a is a related not quite uh, is a quite what we call that uh siblings there all right siblings to ai there right okay so if you use the latest version 2019 2018 2017 cc cs okay they give you guys a quite kind of what we call that like exclusive kind of looks there dark kind of interface there right look more kind of a very kind of what we call that not look quite cheap there right okay look more like a very high standard kind of working areas there right okay? so i i find out it's quite very have that kind of mood of doing some professional stuff over there lah. by looking at this kind of photoshop right? you see right okay? it looked like a very not quite urban right okay like a countryside there right, okay kind of what we call that interface there right like old school there okay so if you take a look at this kind of interface you guys can see there okay no don't have no mood like okay, to do some creative stuff there okay for some people like okay? not you guys like i just want to chill up a little bit there right so but but it's a reality there because when i look at when i go to the any kind of campus lab not only in our lab there, okay? And I will go back there, okay? Yes, I can see that kind of difference. Uh, but my kind of what we call that objective normally is the work itself, right? So the destination has to be okay, where you want to go for it. It doesn't matter what, what car that I drive, okay? But normally we care also sometimes, right? Like if you, if you actually have a very old classic kind of car that cannot actually bring you to your destinations also there is no point right so i would rather to to ride a very classical car but they have they have the features that can be modified into the needs that i want either to go to the certain kind of occasions or to just end for the day Right. So all this kind of thing also important at the same time for me, right? Because I have an AI illustrators kind of software, but when I try to install, they cannot actually, I don't know why they cannot actually write uh, work there. Okay. Maybe because too old, right? The version seven, even though these are original versions there that I have, right? But it's a quite old there, okay? Kind of versions there. So there's no point that I can use them for today. So that's why. I want to jump a little bit, right? Okay, just to give a bit kind of new kind of learning experience. This week three there, okay? Hopefully, when week three or before we reach week five, there, you guys have learned two different kinds of software at the same time. Hopefully, you guys can have more confidence to to develop your kind of creative juice, right? Okay, to persuade your assignments later on. Okay, so now. Open up Photoshop. Okay, let me close this one first. Save the files there. Right? No, don't open up this one. Okay, but for the old versions, 
the interface is quite direct, right? Okay? Those are the things that I love because I'm actually quite direct kind of people okay, when I talk, okay, even though I'm going to go to some of the things there just to relate with the, with the lesson itself, but our lessons here, I love to become a little bit more direct, directly okay, for it to to open up to open up the the, the lessons there. Normally, right, okay, this is the half HD kind of full map that I use for okay, 1920, 1080. But remember our set files there, okay, I'm interested right, okay, in AIZ. So I'm going to use 8 by 11 inch deficit, right, width and height there. But for the landscape, we change from 11 for width and 8 for the height. Resolutions. Okay, the difference between AI and Photoshop, as I mentioned before, Photoshop on the resolution. It is a rasterized kind of bitmap kind of images there, right? Okay, it's not vector based. It's a raster based there, right? Not raster farian there, right? Okay, not raster farian there, okay. But raster based, okay. That means you your kind of visuals depending on the the quality of your visuals, basically, right? Uh, will base from the resolutions. So if you put three hundred DPI, basically it's a standard kind of resolutions for you guys to use for your production works. But if you check the image size here. They will be affected your size of your working areas and also your space in your computers. Right? So for our lessons here today, even though we can use 300 DPI, they will increase into 222.7 megabyte directly for each A4 size blank page of canvas directly without doing the work. Okay, if you start to add the layers start to sketch it out more ideas from there start to develop your artworks okay using different kind of effects that okay brushes styles strokes whatever that you were to add in your illustrations later on or your design works the size of your file is going to be increased depending on the layers depending on the effects visual effect plug in that you're going to use them okay remember that so what I can suggest, because normally I will work in more practical way. If you guys think that big for you guys to work at the moment, because right now we are using only on screen kind of presentations there. So we don't need 300 DPI there, okay? What I can suggest we use a minimum size, 150 DPI. 150 dpi there right so 150 dpi there so for some certain kind of occasions okay for um, for my works no sometimes i'm using around 200 dpi depending there but make sure there right, okay when you use this kind of Minimum kind of resolutions, don't increase or resize your works there. Reduce a bit, okay. But if you want to resize your works, I suggest you don't don't size, don't scale your works there, okay? So the resolution for A4 size, landscape format here. Everyone know landscape format there, right? It's around five five point if you look at the image size over here, go to image, uh, image size, it's around 5.66 megabyte only for the blank page of canvas there, okay? Before you start to do the work there. So the, the amount of space that the pixel that change according to increase according to the need to the, to the work that you've been working on for this page there, okay? So remember that. So what we're going to do for our landscape sketches now, right? The sketches before we transfer into AI, for example, they are going to be around 
this kind of what we call that uh, uh, size there, right? See? Around 100, uh, 150 DPI there. All right. So any questions so far at the moment? No, all right. Okay, we wait up, huh? Alright, guys. Okay, when to check your image size, normally you go to image, image size. You can check back again the size there, that it's right or not. Okay, make sure the the link is actually over there directly. They they actually link together there directly. Because if you change them, they're going to be what we call they have a different kind of uh what we call that uh, format that they they run already. It will be fit. It won't be fit on our purpose for the designer work there. So, Photoshop basically they have also a layer there. I remember right in 1995, 96, when I used to Photoshop, the first Photoshop project, they only have two layers. Other than that, so if you you can actually get the layers from this window. Tool to set toolbar, where actually you can get also from the same like AI because they have the same kind of uh, what we call that layout representation for the interface. There. Okay, you can get the layers over here. So sometimes they have different kind of uh, what we call that features. You know, path, right? But we always use layers that goes that way. Right. The next, next thing is, right. The first layer is the background. Don't you ever sketch everything inside this background there, right? You just leave it white space there, right? Blank space there, right? Don't leave everything right here, right? You don't draw anything here. So add new layers, okay? At the bottom of the layers, I know what we call that room or folder there. There's an insert kind of what we call that. You guys can see from here there. Right? So you can actually add the layers right here. Okay, add the layers there. So always, always use the the active kind of layers, new layers to work with the with the work that you want. Because why? Because when it comes to you want to move on your design there, right? Here, like if you draw on top of the background there, like this one, there, right? How actually you're going to change there? See? Uh, complete your record because the layer is locked there. It's automatically locked there, right? Only for the background. So don't use background for your working areas there, right? Use different layers there. New layers to start with if you want to design. Right? To select them, okay, let me say I'm, I do the mistake just now there, right? I draw something like that. And, oh, I do the mistake there. Oh, actually, I can delete them. Is that I can and also click Control A selections there, so the selections areas are going to be active right here, there, right, and then click Delete button there. Right? Yeah. To delete the file, uh, to delete the the areas there. Methods of working with the shortcut key is almost the same with AI, but this is different. This only a few different things on the interaction. Now, 
what we need to do right now, basically Photoshop can do a lot of things other than drawings. But some people, some salesmen that I met who actually has a connection with the adult kind of what we call, call that um, certification there. They always, always say are not meant to do drawing or illustration painting there. Right? Don't believe them. They always promote either you want to use painter software or other software that, okay, that can be used there nowadays. Yeah, because maybe because they want to sell this kind of product. Yeah. But what I actually done previously and normally there are, I've used Photoshop in both I can design my own characters. At the same time, I can actually also do some image manipulation superimpose from from any kind of work that I want. Okay. Now, the files, the folder, the interaction, are uh, the interactive kind of other uh, the interface basically for the Photoshop is almost the same, right? Filters basically there's a lot of effects there that I might not going to be touched at this, at this time here first. So my objective here I want to show you guys. How to sketch out our ideas in Photoshop if you don't have those sketchbook with you? Okay. Start to work with our composition and landscape kind of design, and design also your elements from scratch using Photoshop. Before you're going to trace back again and improvise them in AI. I used to do the same thing back in the day, and I still using them if if I don't have any kind of solid kind of ideas there. Because if you spend, for example, like more than two days to design one illustration, for example, there, for me, it's a waste of time. Okay, it's a such a waste of time there. Because two days you want to work with one single illustration. If you start to do some commission for other people, so I think you will lose a lot of clients from there. Okay? Because one illustration will come out with, depending on the price. Mm -hmm. If people pay you 50 ringgit to do one illustration, you can do it around not than half an hour. It will be great. Right, so you can actually do at least five illustrations for one day, right? 50 times five, you got around how many there are now? So, for one day, there are four examples. You count, you can calculate it by the numbers. There, okay? So, those are the things that you have to do. Know about the practicality on the work there. So, Photoshop have the brush tool. Okay, we have also the select. Tool over here, just like AI to select or to move on the the, the we call it the object that we draw. You have the left, right? Not for the cowboys there, right? To select also some of the areas there that you want. Okay? And we have also magic wand tools, right? To do some selection at the same time. So, okay? so but if you use the new versions, there's a lot of new features on the magic one right tools there that can have more kind of easy kind of access to select your work so select some of the images in order to blend it into your compositions there okay, those are the good thing about the new vision there, right but what i want to focus right now is a brush tool not pencil tools pencil tools normally if you want to draw a pixel pixelized illustrations there again I will show you guys maybe in the future. So, right? so it's quite interesting that we design a style full of pictures that in Photoshop. Okay? Even though we have a few kind of software also can be used now, this that you would. All right, guys. So now, to sketch also, I have to talk a lot there, right? All right, now, guys, uh, compositions. Okay? What do you know about compositions there? If you want to plan to design the, the landscape for your character, right? What we need to do first, okay, we 
cash rate in the region here. In the landscapes kind of illustration or design kind of rules, other than we have one point perspective, perspective, three point perspective theoretically, that which basically we can go through later on. What I want to emphasize this is the horizon line. Compositions of the landscapes, we have two different kind of horizon that we can actually play around with. First of all, is the high horizons, which is I draw the high horizon like this. Okay, I'm using brush tools, and if you're using brush tool in Photoshop, try not to use extended brushes now, because we have also certain kind of brushes in new version of Photoshop. Let me go. Share with you just this information. So, information is really important. Okay, the infographics is a part of your reference, all right, to guide you to develop your characters there. Infographic illustrations there. Okay, uh, try to dig it out more. Right, okay, this information, visual information. Try to get some inspiration from these visuals there in order to be your design later on. There, right? Okay. Uh, Photoshop brush. To, okay, we have this ultimate. The wrappers ultimate style brush. Okay. Slowly the line there. All right, in new version of Photoshop that you guys have on your PC or your laptop bracket. Right there is a few different kind of brushes right now that actually quite resembling or uh, have the right kind of fit, just like traditional media kind of brushes there. One of the reasons we use Photoshop is this. It's because of this one that I did. Because of these brushes. Right. I'm using a very standard brushes, which is all media wet flow brush. All media wet flow brush, okay? But nowadays we have a lot of different kind of brushes there in Photoshop that you guys can check either in wet media brushes tools, right? If you open up your Photoshop tools over here, there are brush tools over here. They have a certain kind of tools that you can actually a list of tools that you guys can brush that you can use from here. If I'm I'm using wet medium flow brushes there, all medium wet flow brush. This this standard brushes that they create, the engineer has been created for the last decade, for the half past decade, okay? It's the very standard brushes when you install the Photoshop. Yeah. Why I'm using a standard brushes, okay? Because when I use this kind of brushes, for example, I can get the stroke that I want. Okay? Depend on the sizes of the brushes that right now they give me size of point size of the brushes there, right? We can change. Normally I'm going to change to 10 point. But depending on the resolution there, 10 point they give me like a pencil kind of touch. You see that? And of course use zoom tools, control space bar, zoom it more. One of the best things that I love when I use this brush tool, this standard brush I can control my, my pressure point. Then the sketch. This is like I'm sketching using pencil. Okay, this is one of the important kind of reasons that this is the purpose why we need no, all right guys all right this is basically the reason why we use photoshop and tablet settings for we can sketch just like we're using pencils there Nowadays, we use those tablet directly, those uh, iPad Pro, Procreate directly, kind of software directly applications. This is the reason. This is one of the reasons. If this 
prison is not that important then for the purpose of selling the product for designers like us. I don't see, I don't believe that why Apple create this kind of device, there, invented this kind of device. There. And even they use they use the pencil, uh, the pencil kind of device, okay, that iPad have a pencil, iPad pencil. They actually have to feel the same like the traditional kind of pencil or brushes or paint styles or charcoal. So I think they can actually have the same there, right? They have the same kind of feel there. But if that thing is not important, then I don't think that all the hand tools from the Apple would actually invent this kind of machine. See what I mean now. Okay. So if you have this tablet, as with your brushes like this, okay. be sure you have the right kind of brushes. How to get the brushes? Okay, tablet. Okay, the tablet pen like we on uh, the XP pen. Okay, they're not actually plug and play and this you just can draw and use them. Right? You have to install also the drivers, right? The drivers that help you guys to get the pressure. So we just plug and play and then test, okay? Why I cannot get the, track, the, the right kind of pressure there? Of course, you can get if you don't install the right drivers that will work. Now, go into high horizon and low horizon there. Kind of. Cool map there, right? What do you mean by that? The high, high horizon there. When I draw the high horizon like this, right? Or maybe like. How actually I'm going to design the landscape from here? Okay, normally, in this high horizon, what we can do? Normally, you can see this kind of, there is a mountain over here. All right. There is a cloud over here. That's a landscape. Huh? Okay. See the way I sketch the clouds there? Eh? Look like that we sketch everything. And we can show also the depth of field from here. Right? What else? Well, there is a. This is basically. The high horizon, so let me say I want to sketch this with the boat over here, right? Sketch it up there. When you sketch your eye, like this there, right? This is what sketch is all about. Roughly the right thing. Landscape that format. High horizons there. Simple kind of high horizons there. Where I get all these ideas from? From the reference there. Okay. How about the low horizons there? Right? Low horizons, for example, here. Low horizon means horizon is more lower there, okay, than the ground itself. So you can use the same composition there. I want to use the same composition like this. Yeah. Right. What I can do from here? Okay, let me copy this one. I use the same sketches, same sketches here. But this one, okay, I'm using lasso tools. Lasso tools to select these areas there first. Cop uh, I am going to cut this one, paste to the new layers there first, like that. Then I'm going to change this. Format the right is there. Can you see using the same composition, same kind of arrangements, uh, same kind of drawings, but you can use different kind of arrangements there at the same time, right? You can actually take advantage on your own design. This is a uh, high horizons. 
I'm going to delete this one there, cut them, select okay, this one there, right? Delete them, right? Low horizon and high horizon at the same time. You see that? Low horizon, high horizon. Can you see the difference there? And can you see the different kind of presentations? The look and feel that you can see from there. From here, there, right? Using the very simple kind of presentation here that you can saw a lot from those photographic kind of reference to understand into your illustration. Okay, guys? Then what you can do from here, a lot of things. All right, okay. I don't have to draw the new one. You want to collaborate with your characters there, yeah, right? I'm using different kind of sketch pen. Let me just say disaster. Logness month. Right. So the way that you actually saw right now there, right? What I'm going to do here is I try to sketch my ideas there. Right? We before we stick too serious on our development there, right? Our ideas there. Catch our ideas there. This is. So you cannot actually use this one, okay, for this kind of method when you actually sketch in sketchbook, right? So this is the advantage of using digital media, right? If I use uh, if the power switch, demos. High horizon, the right. Low horizon, this is the low horizon thing, right? We still can use the same composition and we can arrange them. You see that? So, this is a good thing when you use when you plan. And by the way, folks, thought that whatever that you want to create, by clicking one button, everything are going to be completely there, made up for you. This is what, this is the thought of, this is the way that man who doesn't learn about design thinking thought about our words. Okay, just click, 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 and everything is going to be create the right. It's not. Okay, we have to plan first our composition. You can see the right. The difference between when I actually design some of the work that I actually demo. For me, it's not that well planned. I just plan in my head as I actually have shown you guys before this. Some of you guys have actually have submit good, right? The work there. Another visualize here. Okay, it's very, very kind of what we call that for the good for the starting point is very nice there, very good there, I think. But maybe the color combination for each characters has to be changed. Like okay, this one should be a little bit more more warm kind of feeling there, I think, to give a bit more kind of contrast and focus there. Okay, on this character piece of art. Okay. This one, I thought, I hope that Jonathan actually have done the right thing. It's a bit kind of earlier kind of stage there to practice this tool. Right? You can do more better than this one, Jonathan. Especially on the combination. And this one looks okay, right? But looks quite uh, impressive, I guess, for the first time, okay? But can be a bit more on the line, on the 
quality of line and joining over here directly on the ship itself. So, where am I? Guys, I'll step out of this. Okay, good. Did you have All right. So, guys, check this over there, right? Can you see what basically we can move on from here? That's why planning and designs were really important there, right? If you don't plan your design well, they will look a bit more like like it's not well being prepared there. There's like a half cook there, right? You design only half cook kind of food there. So to learn about compositions, don't go or if you don't have enough kind of knowledge there to go far beyond uh, the, the the complex kind of perspective there. Learn about the high and low horizon there first, and then try to manage to work with your compositions, with your design itself, and refine back again your characters there. For example, here. So if I want to all that draw other things right here. Let me say that I want to design one character over here, right? Okay. Basic shape that is. The guy basically has been shocked to see the monsters there, right? For example, it's only a sketch, rough sketch, right? Here, to work with that. Okay, to work in Photoshop, to sketch out our ideas there, you must be able to sketch roughly first. Right? Don't doodle them up there, right? Okay? Don't doodle them up, right? I always, always, always remind students there, right? Here, don't doodle your sketches there, right? Okay? What do you mean by doodle there, right? A lot of people will actually try to do works. They draw the whole thing like this one there. Or sometimes like this. Okay, like this one there, right? This is not the right way for us to draw okay you don't even know where to start where to move in the right way the right this is the wrong way to draw either you're going to use photoshop or tablet or you're using pencils this is not the right way to draw the right the right way to draw basic shapes there understand the basic shapes just like using AI right that's why for me, vomitor kind of what we call that, vomitor kind of what we call that exercise and also comedy assignments were very good because why basically the behind the ideas of the vomitor is to help the newcomers to understand about the shapes before you're going to design any kind of character, any kind of element that way. Everything came from shape. If you saw the way that I used right now, even though I'm not using the vomitor kind of character style of shape, they're right. I'm using single shape directly. So this week, I want you guys to sketch your ideas here. Either you're going to use uh, Photoshop to sketch, or you can use pencils there to sketch in your sketch book there. You're using the same kind of methods right now. Okay, the landscape back again. So if you want to sketch, learn to sketch in Photoshop, first of all, control your line there. Okay. 
So if I may, uh, what we call that, share with you guys. Okay, I'm going to close the screen first because I want to show you guys on my cameras how actually I move my hand. All right, using my hand there to draw. All right, move my hands there, right? Even though lagging a bit there, right? Okay, when you use this tablet here, all right, just make it smooth that line. If you draw, don't press too much there, right? If you draw, okay, that one thing is there. If you guys were using sketchbooks, for example, there, okay, sketchbooks here. And you are going to sketch, okay? If you have to learn to sketch there, right? Okay? Your ideas. I'm talking about sketching ideas there. If you don't have tablet, uh, you, if you don't have pencils, you can use ball pen. I'm using a very cheap ball pen here, okay? From Table Castle. Yeah. I guess you just screen there, right? You just can't tell. If I want to draw any kind of shape there, like a dragon, this kind, like a that sea monster, this kind, right? Okay, I draw the line of here. the shape there, right? I repeat the line at the same time. Even though this is not a purely drawing classes. Can you see that? I'm drawing upside right now, there, right? Repeat the line there first. Circle, circle around there. To sketch your subject matters according to the shape there first. And try to get a really, really competent line there. From here. Okay. Simple kind of line there. Too. This is how we sketch. Not this one, eh? you draw like this one. Don't draw like this one. This one, right? Keep drawing, huh? Right. Then draw like this one there. It's not the right one. Control the pressures to bring shapes there. It works there. You want to draw circles, one single circle there, or you can repeat the circles at the same time there. Okay. All right. You want to draw triangles? Don't draw triangle like this one there, right? Okay. This is the wrong way to draw, to sketch. This is the right way. Repeat the line there, right? Repeat the line there. As you can see, right? Okay, how it works. So when I actually teach animation students there, using a basic character shapes there, right? the reason why we use the basic structure shapes because we want to see whether you can actually sketch first in the right way to create some ideas before you're going to transfer in Adobe Animate or Flash. So let's just say that I want to design for you guys here. Right, a character there, right? For example, a chibi character there. Okay, a chibi character there, right? So, what I can do first, draw the whole structures, the basic foundations of the structures there. Before we're going to design, okay, this is the basic structures. For that character, basic structure, the foundations there, right? And then from here, you can actually add more details there, right?
okay? Roughly, right, okay, ideas there. Rough ideas there, okay? To design a character there based on the TV character design. All right? So, importance on planning your ideas and your works because from here, you can add a bit more and more and more details there, right? I will give you guys some link, okay, from my YouTube. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead because that kind of link, right, uh, those kind of lessons that I actually give from this for the students there, right, it will help, maybe hopefully it will help you to emphasize more and more on, on the, the experience that you guys have from there directly to, to learn further about, right, how to use those uh, full tree shop, or, or animate or design the characters at the same time. So, right, okay? Let me check here first. I will share you guys the link there, right? So you guys can actually go for it. But I have to warn you guys, those, uh, uh, those channels, these channels is very raw, raw channels there, right? It's a very raw channel there, right? Okay? So that mean, <clears throat> uh, this kind of lessons that I give for the students, I don't actually edit much. I don't have time to, I don't have enough time to edit them directly. So it's not actually like a very commercial kind of channels there, right? From YouTube there, right? you can have the very nice introduction there. Okay? I actually record the whole sessions, okay, for my lessons there, okay, for the students, okay, and then they, they just have to go through back again, right? Okay, on the works there, right? Okay? So that's all there, okay? That I can actually can share, right? That actually can what we call that I can create at the moments there, right? This is for my animations, uh, kind of what we call that fundamental kind of subjects, right? That actually emphasize on the styles and techniques to draw a characters there. At the same time. So if you do look furthermore on what basically I did, okay, for those uh, animation classes at this time, at this moment, this is one of it there, right? Okay. So there's a few kind of videos also that you guys can actually check later on, right? Uh, that actually have emphasized on the drawings and characters kind of styles and skills there, right? But I mixed them up also with uh, a certain kind of what we call that uh visuals kind of what we call that kind of learning experience like right? okay, i'm i talk more on the lessons there right okay? i don't this is not entertainment kind of a channel like, okay this is more like a more consultation these kind of channels there right okay? that uh that actually i'll create those demonstrations Right, to give student more emphasization, uh, emphasization on the on the lesson itself. There, right? Yes, you can check it out there, right? Okay, from there. So, about our shall we continue here? There, right? So, for any questions, there, guys. For any questions? Okay, about the elements itself. To draw your own elements there. Let's just say we want to draw some low horizons like this, right, of the compositions, and then we're going to start to draw what our own kind of composition of tree, a kind of tree that you want to de design here, a palm tree or coconut tree, using a shapes. Right, you guys can see there, right? And then I'm going to draw some bushes there over there. Then I can design also some of the trees over here, make it more balanced. Okay, this is basically a ground, right? A ground for these compositions there. Right? Another tree is over here. They want to balance that out of this composition surface.
right? Another which is there. Sometimes we can actually just copy them. Okay, when you draw one single tree for the in AI, you can actually just copy them back, right? But this is a planning there, okay? So what we can do from here? Of course, this is the ground there, okay? The ground, the middle ground. So that means you're going to put your characters in these compositions at the center there, right? That's nice characters there. Or have to think that, right? Okay, you want to sketch your ideas on the characters there using the void the characters. Okay, using the shapes like this there. Right? And then, right. Have some expressions there. So this is only a planning of sketches there. Right? So suddenly the characters felt a little bit kind of excited there. I don't know why. All right. But one of the reasons why we design the characters like this, this is basically a, the center point of the line that emphasize on the line of action for the characters there. We call the line of action for each character there. So this line of action will emphasize on the on the, the pose itself there. They they give a little bit more like a dynamic kind of pose there. If you just look at the sketches that I've done right now there, okay? Even though the characters is a little bit more like a very stiff kind of shapes there, okay? But this is basically the inside mouth, uh, inside head of the transparent inside kind of hit of these characters there okay there's a few kind of love fly kind of shapes actually right been flying over his mind over here okay maybe the concept of this design were based from the characters even though it looks a bit more like a more uh, what we call the dramatics but he has a love inside his mind there, okay for example there, right? so those are sometimes the message that we can actually apply for our works so middle ground basically the characters there how about the foreground? What you want to put in foreground there, okay? Maybe you want to put some tree lock. Okay, some tree locks over here. Okay, F key basically to click F key basically, okay, on the buttons of the keyboard. You have the presentations kind of modes there, right? Sorry, there, right? So control Z or control alternate Z to what we call that undo your mistakes there so i'm going to draw a tree log over here and then a few kind of grasses right to give a little bit kind of balance on this composition there this is the foreground there you see that i love to use this kind of very cute kind of images there right at the moment because i believe it's easy for you guys to understand that and not too complex there, okay? The compositions. But the look and feel will be more presentable depending on how you plan your works. All right. So at the background, what we can do? Maybe some mountains. Simples there, okay? A few more mountains there, right? Two layers of mountains and the clouds there. How to draw clouds? A simple kind of cloud there, right? Using this kind of shapes there. Right? Compositions there. What we try to emphasize here. The simple composition based on the low horizon key kind of format there, right? So go to click to colors there. Change to the slightest colors. Red color, for example. For me to give the notes a bit, right? We have the backgrounds for our compositions. This is a center point there, okay? We have the foreground, uh, the, the middle ground. And we have also the foreground over here. Right. The composition simple, but looks complex. Can you see that? And the arrangements, Right, of the golden ratio basically is balanced there, right? It's balanced there. Right? A 
simple kind of composition thing. All right. Any questions there, guys? But planning is really important there. And also try to create some distance there, okay, on your compositions there. Right now, even though I'm using a very complex kind of arrangements that I that look like in my sketches is quite messy there, right? But when I come to create those illustrations later on in AI, I would say they will be more arrangeable and more space there. Don't forget to leave some space there. All right, like the sky. The background have a few kind of space there for you guys to arrange them there. Okay, that's the things that we can actually apply from there. Okay, guys. Any questions? Lol. <laughs> Sir, what tablet are you using? Oh, I'm using a very high, high intensive kind of tablet there, Nola. I'm just using Intuist there, I right? there. Right? I'm actually right, been using Intuist Wacom for quite some times. Uh, all right, we got it right. Okay. All uh, right, okay, guys. Okay, uh, I'm using Intuist Wacom quite a number of years okay because uh when i first my own tablets when i actually have used my own tablet okay uh when i get my own first tablet i get it at that time there is no hui on there is no uh genius kind of models okay uh no what we call that uh xp pen okay has been have been have been have been have been manufactured or designed or created already or have been uh, produced there so what actually i actually have been experienced is the interest models that okay, interest model okay what come back okay. i would say that at the moment yes okay if you have the budget right okay, interest welcome made a very the best kind of tablet device okay for for the design is there right but not but i actually experienced also genius before but i'm not recommend you guys to buy genius uh hui on i've test for the students before quite okay convenience there to works right but it's not that as long as what your friends say just know directly that um like I think Zarani say just now that right that XP pen also quite okay. It's not uh, okay if if you actually comfortable with the XP pen, go ahead okay. As long as first of all the tablets is not were actually uh what we call that were not actually have a certain kind of problems there like I cast a uh, Microsoft Surface and Ingenious before. Ingenious is quite cheap. Microsoft Surface not there, right? But the pen they use battery directly. Okay? The double uh 4A battery directly. Okay? 4A battery okay? is hard for us for to find. So if you use this kind of device, this kind of what we call that uh models like XP like we on okay you don't have those batteries directly inside it so it's just plug and play and install the drivers and you guys ready go on directly but if you want to make sure that when you install the drivers and you will get the right kind of brushes open up photoshop and test the brushes there then you know whether you can get the right kind of brushes or not if your pen is quite lagging there right, okay and not actually work in the proper way either you not install the drivers in the right way or maybe you have to uh, readjust a little bit kind of system, right? But normally I don't have that kind of problems, left, right? I don't know what happened to some people actually that buy the tablets, they cannot get uh, what we call that the, what we call that, uh, it's not get going to work well there, okay? But I experienced with Microsoft Surface before. I really hate it. I really 
felt that I actually have been, have been what we call that, been hit by the salesman directly because of, uh, because when I actually buy those uh, surface, 5K, they write okay at that time. I thought that I can use Photoshop using the chat, using the pen that they actually have provided to draw because I want to do those mobile like okay? if I know that I can get those what we call that that iPad at the same time with the pencils more cheaper than that I would buy iPad at the time there right so um, so right now if I use this surface I have to go external there because the pen cannot work for my Photoshop I cannot draw when I draw looks a little bit more like I don't know how to draw it, right? I don't know how I cannot draw the look and feels look a bit more like an amateur kind of drawing there, right? I really hate it there, right? So those are my experience there by using those tablet learning. So but in AI basically there's no kind of problems there. The things that actually can be worked, hopefully, right? I have contact some of my friends to get me those uh, AI like even though one of your friends from other group also have helped me there I'm going to install them today hopefully there right um, when I actually using pen with the AI my job is a bit more faster there a bit more faster there because I can use those pencil tools to draw my characters there according to my sketches there right and I'm really happy there okay when I actually can get the job done more quicker more quicker more faster than 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 that I used before the right okay, but before I get those 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 tablets okay when I use AI and the mouse I don't feel that kind of problems now because we actually get used to the mouse before the right. But when I get the tablets with me and I start to work with it and I change my kind of way of working from mouse to tablets, I'll find a lot of a lot of heaven's kind of feeling there okay when i were use of step when i do the work there i can explore more things from there because all the details that i want that i want to explore these experiments using the tablets and uh, using the tools in ai or photoshops they were there they made me felt like like something like different there okay it's different kind of feelings there if you if you actually really, really into those design, okay, you can felt the feelings later on, okay, because you you need those kind of quality that you want. And even though for me, there, okay, uh, I have this kind of situations before, okay, because even though I can paint manually in watercolors, I used to learn also all paint there, okay, acrylic. They one of my favorite kind of uh, what we call that. Uh, tools okay or, or medium that i use there okay but what did i find okay because the knowledge that i actually traditional knowledge I, actually i i can transfer into those digital media there i can transfer all those traditional knowledge into to into, into my digital media there why i can mix them up if i use dry wet paint i can combine with uh pastel soft pastel at the same time for my illustrations there so and without actually having a dirty hand or the dirty kind of template there okay or palette there okay color palette there i can choose and go more freedoms okay on my presentations on my works there and that's why digital media okay it changed my kind of way of workings a lot there okay you just have to explore every day and you have to create your own works each time okay don't just rely on there okay to create something only for the purpose of our kind of illustrations works on it as i told you guys before do more from there explore more from there create your own kind of project according to our lessons that can benefit both there, okay your marks and also your skills at the same time okay about this week's we planning the same as what miss anis actually have been we follow them back but the difference is i just add another kind of exercise there which is before you're going to create your landscape for your characters using the high and low horizon horizon kind of format there right okay 
and it arranged also the depth of field between the foreground, ground, middle ground, and the background at, at the same time as well. I want you guys to sketch first your ideas there. All right. Either you're going to use sketchbooks, right? Or you can actually use also Photoshop that it works. Either way around. Don't don't restrict yourself. Right? Don't restrict yourself. Okay, let's just say I want to sketch it out. Uh, my kind of landscapes over here. Okay, my kind of landscapes over here. See? Sketch it out my ideas there. I'm trying hard enough to draw, to sketch it out my ideas for you guys right now using what we call that uh, different kind of what we call that upside down kind of okay, the same composition there right the same composition that I did right on on my computer there there The same kind of compositions, but in my sketchbooks. But in my sketchbook, there, guys. Okay? Using ball pen. The cheapest pen that you can get in your, uh, what we call that, in your pencil case. You don't have to buy the new one or you don't have to buy the expensive one. But you still can achieve the lessons here. This is the most important thing that how to sketch in the right way. Okay. No expense, right? You can get also in our campus, right? Okay, there's a, a what we call that? There's a stores there, okay? That I actually buy my umbrella, okay? At the, at the stores there, right? Uh, last week. Right? Sketch it out your ideas here. Plan your kind of compositions first, okay, before you're going to sketch uh, design back again in AI there. Because last week, I know you guys sketch everything straight ahead from your mind. Today, this week, I want you guys to sketch our compositions, our landscapes, our arrangements, and also uh, improvise also redesign your kind of elements right if you want to design a buildings try to simplify those buildings there all right i bet you can actually do some research on the powerpuff girls landscapes background there, okay you draw your own kind of landscape there you want to draw klccs for example there right you can design those klccs based on your simple kind of Uh, what we call that I thought have tablet right now I don't have tablet. okay I bought okay so you want to wait okay but uh, my kind of suggestions yeah yeah we there okay yeah uh, before you get your own tablets sketch it out first inside your sketchbook or a piece of papers there right plan that first right okay because i don't like to wait a lot okay i like people wait to, for me there okay that's the the things there okay that you actually have, also have to be in this kind of positions of mind okay don't wait for something that you don't have yet okay because maybe you take a few time like a few days okay to get those tablets there and then you need to install test there right sketch first your ideas there in your sketchbooks or in your piece of papers there and then you can shoot those photos and post in our teams and also google classrooms right to give a progress kind of looks and also commit commitment on our works there right okay that's what you should do there right okay and then when you, when you get those tablets you just can straight away sketch it out back again or maybe you can actually improve 
whatever that you have sketched manually in the computers, send back again, and then you can actually trace them in AI, okay, to submit them next week. All right. So in our in my videos, basically for last week's, for second sessions, if you guys can actually browse them, uh, I actually have give also an examples there, right? On how actually you guys can create basically the, uh, what we call that, a simple kind of design, okay? For the trading card there, right? Okay? For the game card for your characters there, right? For me, right, okay, there's a lot of restriction on this design there, right? So whatever that you guys produce for, the, for a week, for me, is quite impressive than this, right? But i really glad you guys can actually get that kind of ideas from there, right? So you guys can explore from here, okay, in the futures, okay, in, in, uh, for, for your assignments kind of works later on, right? If you take a look at This is morning sessions, right? This is afternoon sessions, there, right? Which I actually have okay, around 15 people actually have work on that. Okay, we did also some landscape design, right? Okay, that we actually have sh share that I actually have shared directly in these groups. So you guys can actually take a look and work on it directly and explore a bit more from there. All right, guys. So any questions? All right. As I actually have mentioned, we follow whatever that Miss Hanis actually have planned for us for this week. But the difference is I just add a little bit kind of values, work with Photoshop if you can to sketch and plan your ideas there first. Because this one is really, this kind of process is really important. That do we have to use Photoshop or Illustrator there? For sketches there, okay, to plan your ideas, use Photoshop. If you have Photoshop and tablet with you. Okay, Zarani? Just like I show you guys, okay, in our screens over here to sketch your ideas there. But if you don't have Photoshop or you don't have those tablets, you can sketch it out your ideas in your sketchbook first before you're going to draw and trace them back. Okay, how many sketches that you need to develop for your compositions? <laughs> how many there? How many there, right? Before you can actually confirm, okay, this is the this is the right composition for you. Okay, from one single kind of illustrations, landscape illustrations. There, the same kind of landscape. Let's just say you want to draw a very simple sceneries, have a tree garden, for example, like the garden there. You have to have, you need to have the the theme for your landscapes there, because you have to remember one thing. This is one I also have to, what we call that, uh, emphasize for you guys, to explain for you guys there. What I did right now, even though I sketch randomly directly, I try to create the world for my characters. My characters here, randomly that I sketch, he live in one of the garden there, okay? For example, the garden there, they have a tree, like a tropical kind of trees, right? There is a tree logs over here. There's a grass, a huge kind of grass. There's a mountains, beautiful mountain maybe, and a good kind of cloud and landscape for the landscape. There, right? Simple there. But if you want to see your characters live in the cave, for example, there's a fire kind of uh, what we call that. There's like like a room, for example, directly. Go ahead. 
do some research a little bit right on your landscape there where you want to put your characters later on right because whatever that we want to do try to relate it with our assignments at the same time there because all this kind of routine you have to keep on creating and improvise before you get it right you cannot rely on okay one illustration do then you can become a pro no if you say that you spend a day to design one single idea there you have to do more in order to get the right kind of speed later on okay what i could do for you guys after this okay for the next sessions because i want to try to install back again the ai i'm going to demonstrate based on these sketches hopefully right if i can actually install on time directly if there is no kind of technical issue i really hate these technical issues there right no one actually did directly like that uh if i can i will actually write trace these illustrations into ai i will show on the demonstration and you guys can check back again later on there right okay so but i'm only sketch one there right i want you guys to sketch at least at least sketch just only right design only one illustration is there right landscapes five five different ideas on the landscapes based on the same team okay let's just say you have the city team that you want you want to have a garden team or jungle kind of thing up to you guys okay Whatever that you think is quite easy for you to execute, go ahead. But I want you guys to explore your creativities in your brain, in your mind. Okay, to work on that. Okay. All right, guys. So hopefully, guys, okay, don't have any kind of yeah trading card. Right, okay, background must be vomited shapes too, or can we own our do our own background freely? Oh, the background should be freely lah. Only the characters using vomitus kind of style there, right? But I don't know whether I want to use them, right? Okay, because I don't know, right? But you guys have to. But the backgrounds is freely form. It's a free form. It's a free form, right? So we don't have to use the vomitus kind of style there for the background there because I want you guys to explore more freedom, free kind of looks and feel for your illustrations there. Right? The characters has to be used for meter kind of shapes. All right. Anything else? Any kind of inquiries there? So we need to hand in all five sketches in Google Classroom by next week. Yes. Oh no, I'm doing the background with Vometer shape. It's okay, Timothy. It's okay. If you actually use Vometers, I salute you. It's a very good kind of uh kind of experience that don't worry every challenges that you have evolved in order to develop your creativities is going to be worth it there don't delete them no matter how bad your drawing is share with us we want to see the process we don't want to see the finished product there, right okay you want to see how actually you're doing it because what i did right now today also the same there right the process there, right of developing those ideas there right same goes to you guys a lot of people always make mistakes there, right yes trading card use the well with the shape but the whole trading card basically is not okay the layout there okay but the elements that you add in like the, that characters have to be in vomitor kind of shapes there okay uh for next week class will there will be a replacement why well, there is a there is a holiday yeah. for Wednesday. If there is a holiday for next week, or Malaysian Day next week, I don't know whether we 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 are going to have the replacements. I'm okay with it because if we are going to do replacements, okay, we can do both ways. Right? Okay, we can do online right and hopefully can go physical there 
right so it's up to the it's up to you guys also the time that we have there but mm, for next week yes because after next week in week five but i i have a more free kind of uh extra free kind of days there okay because uh, the other kind of campus basically have been uh, have a study leave there again. So that means, Raki, if we actually have the public holiday for Wednesday, it doesn't mean that you can actually submit the works after that, right? So we have more time. You guys have more time to complete your works there, guys. At the same time, if you guys need some consultations and write consultations, please do message me. I can open up my consultation kind of rooms. Okay, those are the things that we can do online there. Okay, but you just have to tell me when I do because my kind of times normally there. Okay, Wednesday, if you, yeah, we have the holiday there. Okay, but normally for me, the holidays only are the holidays there. Right, I'm, 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 I'm looking at what I do right now also, Raki. Even though I'm teaching you guys also, I feel like I'm having a holiday at the same time there, Raki. But I'm doing the works there. For me, works is good there, Raki. I love works there because otherwise, I will sleeping all day. I will sleeping all day, there, Raki. Other than taking my mom there, okay? Taking care of my mom and the kids there. I will sleep all day there, right, okay? So, for me, Raki, uh, Malaysian day, if you want to do some consultations, just just give me a buzz there, okay? Maybe we can actually arrange that, right? Uh, I have the room for the consultations there, okay? Like, like this one there, okay? Uh, I have the... the consultation room, but not this one, okay? I'm using another account there, okay? To invite uh, different students there, okay? Uh, outside student there, to do some consultation from there. Don't worry, stay right. Huh? Yeah, sketch five moment characters, right? Yes. And sketch also five different kind of backgrounds before you trace one of them. Okay, sketches there. Five sketches there, okay? Sketches only, rough sketches there, right? Okay, which I actually have shown you guys just now. All right? And then choose one of them, right? Train your eyes to see what basically you guys can actually improve from your own kind of creations there so in in even though you need us uh, sometimes to give some of the command right but if you can train also your eyes to see the mistakes of your they will be more much better there right because why because you will Will help you to develop your own kind of confidence from there right okay confidence from there and and make yourself become a bit more independent in order to to what we call it even though we need some discussions directly okay? but it help you to make your own kind of decision whether right or wrong right just like it flows there first don't worry it's too much there okay Yes, it can be. Yes. Five sketches for landscapes and characters. Characters, you design five different kind of characters, right? In AI. Right. So because if you cannot actually write, if you design one only, how, how actually you want to beat me there, right? You have to, you need to have this kind of mentality that you have to beat me. Whatever that I actually show you guys in our demonstrations, Basically, I plan basically in my head out the ideas, and I have a few kind of minutes only to change. You guys have, I believe, six days a week to do, do more better than what I've done. All right. So that means have you must have this kind of mentality there. Okay, you want to beat me in a more healthier way there okay to work with your uh submissions there all right and i believe you can do more better than that okay 
All right, Michelle. Sir, after we draw five sketches and we need to choose one of them, trace it and adopt the traces, we hand it in on week five, yes. See, this is week four, right? I did week three, week four, five, yes. Hey, Miss Anish, we want to submit, we want to submit the thing, everything in week five, is it? As I don't have tablet, I just sketch them on paper and scan. Yes, yeah, scan. If you don't want to scan, you shoot on the on your phones and transfer them back and trace. Okay. Shoot on the phones there. Right. It can. Either way. Right. Develop more creative way with the limitations that we have to create your kind of works. Week four, week five, huh? I would love to see in week four, basically, your sketches and some of your characters' compositions. Finalization in week five, they're right. Okay, fine. All right, but don't leave week four in, in one empty folder. Right, okay? All right, guys. All right, guys. I hope Dawi is not actually right, uh, lose his mind there. Right? All right, have fun to work on that, right? Okay? And, and don't forget, beat me on this. We want to see your kind of what we call the result from there. All right? All right, guys, if you don't have any questions, okay, you can leave a comment in, my, in our website there at the same time. I think that normally we always, always active in West Hub also directly. So thank you very much for having me today. And thank you also very much to understand my situation right here. Okay? Can we just submit sketches? Yes, can. I would love to see your sketches there. From that sketches also, we can actually give a little bit kind of comment later on if you actually draw in the wrong way. Sketches also really important. It's really, really important there, guys. A lot of people take for granted from there. They thought sketches is sketches there. You have to remember one thing. When you want to present your ideas, your first initial idea with your clients there, you want to bring your laptops and create all the works in front of him. Never, never do those kind of things there, right? This is the tips there. Why? When people know your kind of, that people know that you can do sometimes all the works quite fast there, right? In front of his mind, oh, in front of his eye, there, okay? They will thought the value of your work is quite cheap. Okay? Remember that. But people can value your works from your sketches there. From your sketches there, right? So when you plan your works with your clients, bring your sketchbook, sketch it out right there. Then go back, spend a few days to complete your works there. Don't complete on times there. You complete on times, make sure they can pay more for you. Because you want to the result fast and the good quality and result fast, they have to pay more. Lah. Right. Most of the clients want to pay less. Right. Rarely, right. Okay? I have one or few clients that get one or two or three clients that okay? There's a few clients left. I just want to tell the stories there, okay? This is my real experience. Because this client basically have a lot of money, one. They don't know what to do with the money itself, there, right? Even though my job is not that big, but I have to create a montage and design a storyboard for them, there, okay? Even though they have an Indian kind of associate kind of partners, okay, in India, directly, okay, who actually can do more better than mine. But I remember one meeting that we have. I already have submit all the ideas, all the animations at the time, okay, for the montage, very flying kind of text animations there to create a logo kind of presentations there, but he want to change at the times. So I sketch in, I didn't bring a sketch books directly, so I sketch in, in a one piece of tissue there, okay, save it there, okay, ideas there, right? So he came back to me, say, okay, here, 1,500 there, okay? Straight to give it. Why? Right. This is your money there. This is your values there. I appreciate your work there. He said to me. Right. This is one time there, okay? I have a few times I okay, can give a check, but 
this is the thing that people value things. If people value your sketches, they, they know how hard actually you do the work they write. You will gain that kind of benefit, okay? But just pray, like, okay, you can get this kind of good client. But sometimes, there's a few times, we have to educate a lot of the clients there. But that's my experience there. They give me 1.5, 105K, right? 1,005K, okay? Straight for only the sketches there, right? In the piece of tissue, severe, okay? Chin Chai only there, okay? But the flow is there. Even though I have been paid before for this same job, but we have to do some amendments. They give me straight like that. That's a freelance kind of freelance kind of work. So it's not that based on the company's day, right? Freelance kind of work. Right? So don't under don't underestimate sketches there. That's why when people know when you, if people know that the sketches is valuable, that okay, to you to plan your work, you show the skills over here. People will pay your kind of efforts there. Right? They, your efforts are going to be paid off there, right? So that's why don't underestimate planning your sketches. Even though it's a very simple sketches there, they will give a good kind of impact in the future. So you never know that, right? Okay. So thank you very much. All right. All the best. And hopefully you guys can bet, gain benefit. Uh, uh, sir, can any style of illustration in accessible, right? Yes. Will be marked less if our illustration is minimalist, no. But the way that you actually compose using the right kind of composition and colors combination at the same times will be valued from there. Okay? It's valued from the quality of the works there, okay? How neat, how clean, how presented your works well. When you presented your works well, they come with the marks there, okay? The rubrics over there. You do chin chai, they give chin chai wolf, right? Chin chai kalpa marks, they're right. You put efforts, you put efforts from that. How to show efforts? Planning using your sketches there. Work according to your plan, improvise from there, and then refine them. Don't just copy from what you have. Okay, sometimes people sketch chin chai. They use the chin chai kind of sketch in their final works there, right? <laughs> right, don't be too naive on yourself there. Right, you can act naive, right, to other people's because you want to strategize your kind of kind of uh, what we call that uh, kind of uh, interaction with them, right? Okay, act stupid but work like a professional there sometimes, right? Uh, so that means you have to improvise there, use your creativity to develop because always ask questions. If I can change, if I can do, if I can make like this or that, it will be okay. Try them, explore, and then decide. All right. Okay. Thank you very much there. Okay, Sarah, do we submit our sketches alongside with the final works? Yes, of course you can. You can actually submit first in week four your sketches, your design, your characters there, your progress whatever that you want to show, right? And then for the, for the final works there, in week five there, right? And then you can submit the final works there from there. You can put alongside there, okay? Just to remind us basically what you have been going to. It's okay. As long as you can add a bit more values on your final presentations, more better, right? Whatever that you guys do, whatever that you want to show, that actually going to emphasize on your skill, your value of your learning experience, knowledge that you gain, blast it in your presentation, blast it in the folders there, right? There is no limitations there. You should hand in training cards and the vomitic characters, themes, in and yes, both right, better directly. Because why? Because if you lose one of your files there, there's a backup from there, right? Uh, Hello, no? guys. I'm back. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry to leave you guys. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So those are the things there, right? So always backup your files there. That's what I say. Whatever that things that you have done, you think is not good enough, don't delete them. Leave it there, 
right? Just save it. Okay, put that on the folders there, okay, as a progress. Then we can see whatever that you guys been will go through there. We have the proof that you guys have been working on from there. Right? Don't just you want to show all the nice things only, right? Okay? All the back end kind of things that you've been struggling there, okay? You don't actually want to show. For the purpose of your studies, your lesson, your skill developments, we need to see the process there. We don't like to see the final works only there, okay? Because we love that kind of experience that you felt from there, the commitment that you show from there, all right? Okay, guys. All right. So thank you very much, okay, for having me today. And have a great lunch there, right, okay? And also uh, see you guys also next week, hopefully, right, okay, for this consultation maybe there, right, okay? So thank you very much. Have a nice day and all the best.